Thank you for joining me for another wildly cheap wine reviews. Let's get into it. So, today we are reviewing Choya's. How do we say this? There's like a little thing that breaks it down so I don't screw it up too bad. Uh, Umeshu Plum Wine. So this is pretty cool. This actually has, you might be able to see it, this actually has little plums in the wine. It's a really cool bottle. It's like, I don't know how to describe it. Uh, the fruit that's in it is considered ume fruit, which is uh, the Japanese word for fruit added to like wine, I guess. But it has plums in it. Um, I'm not sure how I'm going to ingest them if I do at all. Uh, now this is from Japan. I picked this up at Costco. Uh, I paid just around 13 bucks for it, so it stays right around that $15 mark uh, to make it wildly cheap. And uh, it says that it's best served chilled. Now, there's not a whole lot of information on the bottle to tell us um, more than just that it's uh, bottled at 16.4% alcohol by volume. Uh, obviously that will go up a little bit as the fruit decays more, um, so we're not really sure. Uh, it does say that the fruit inside contains pits, um, and it gives you a little bit of a uh, quick uh, kind of like overview of what it is. So it says uh, Womeshu, pronounced Womeshu, is the traditional um, aperitif uh, slash dessert liqueur made from the ume fruit, uh, which is apparently uh, plum. And it says, uh, enjoy on the rocks or mix with dry sparkling wine. So you can mix it with a champagne or um, something not made in the Champagne region of France, which would be a sparkling wine. Now let's get into it. I'm going to give it a little sniff, 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 sniff. See what we got. It's weird. So it smells like, I don't know if you've ever had uh, sake, but it has a, it definitely has like a sake kind of a feel to it. It's not, it doesn't smell like, like rice wine, but it does have a sake feel to it. Now it might be because the sake that I normally drink at, um, at like the Japanese restaurants when I'm having sushi or if I'm doing hibachi or something like that, generally I get the plum, so that might be why. It smells super sweet, so I'm gonna I'm gonna give it a taste. We'll see what we got. Holy fuck! Okay, that's like somebody just poured simple syrup into my mouth, and then like the aftertaste is almost like uh, the smell of rubbing alcohol. Only I'm tasting it. That was interesting. I don't think I've ever had a reaction like that before. Let's try it again. It's not as bad the second time around. So I definitely get a lot of plum flavor with it, but I also get like some fresh apple flavor. So it's nice and crisp. It's like drinking a honey crisp apple that has a little bit of a alcohol finish to it. Um, if you guys have never had a Honeycrisp, uh, you're missing out. They're the best apples in the whole wine world, and they're delicious. Um, next to like the black diamond apples that you would get from Japan themselves, but. Okay. Yeah, this is definitely, this is definitely a dessert wine. It's super, super sweet. It's probably the sweetest thing I've ever tasted for Wildly Cheap Wine Reviews. I mean, it is unbelievably sweet it's one of those like the more you drink it the more you're like man <laughs> i'm probably gonna get diabetes if i finish this whole thing and to be honest with you i mean there's a lot left and this is just this is the first glass and i've already taken two big chugs of it and you can see there's still a ton left in this glass and it just makes it feel like you're just drinking just a ridiculous amount of liquid, but you're really not. It's just because it's so sweet and it has such an effect. So, I mean, it's nothing like, like a normal wine. It doesn't taste like a normal wine. Like 
there's not the aftertaste of this is more like you're drinking. Um, I would say it's more like you're drinking a gin than it is like you're drinking a wine. I don't understand um, why it's like that. <laughs> it's it's pretty good. I like gin, so this works out pretty well. Um, on a scale of one to five, I think I would probably give this like a 4.6. So I'm not super big on a bunch of sweet stuff or a bunch of bitter stuff or a bunch of tanniny stuff, but this hits like a bunch of different, um, a bunch of different uh, like notes for me that I think, uh, I think if you're looking for something super sweet, um, for like a dessert wine or just something super sweet that you want to sip on, and you just want to sit there and just relax, and you don't like you don't like brandy, and you don't like uh, like port. This is really for you. Uh, this is this is seriously delicious. Uh, yeah, so 4.8. This is really good. Like, subscribe, hit that little bell at the bottom, follow us on Instagram, and Facebook, and if you are looking for a way to support the shenanigans that we have here at Dwarven Cater, please hit us up in that Patreon link down below. Now, I'll tell you what kind of videos we have on our channel. We have beer reviews. We have budget booze reviews. We've got cigar reviews, we've got cooking videos, we've got rants, we've got card opening videos, and of course, we have wildly cheap wine reviews. Now, we also have a partner here at Dwarven Kegger. He's a gamer of sorts, one of those real shoot 'em up kind of guys, and his name is... That's right, guys, it's Knickknack. So, his link is going to be down below as well. Also, don't forget to check out all of our other content. Please leave a comment down below. Give me some sort of semblance of an idea of what you want me to review next. Uh, if you don't want me to review something, for the love of God, just at least comment and let me know. Until next time, guys.